It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes? Is a red onion about to recite Nelly lyrics to me? Because if that's the case, then maybe dying is for the best. Must be that global warming. Does that mean I can take off all my layers now? I called it! <laughs> Uh, is food poisoning still on the menu by any chance? Because I'll take two. Please, no. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Fishing Food. Uh, where we last left off, I drank a juice cleanse that looked an awful lot like bleach. And sounded an awful lot like bleach. And made my ears fall off which in my book are all pretty big red flags. Now the good news is capitalism cannibalism is still in full effect. We're still able to pull sentient food out of the ocean and then feed them to one another so that they barf up a whole bunch of money and make us rich. But the bad news is there is not a whole lot of point to being rich if you're dead. And like, it's gotta be the juice cleanse that's doing this to me, right? I, I highly doubt that there's just a wizard in the background casting a spell. Like, skedeedle, skedaddle, make your insides unravel. Oh no, my feet! I hadn't even noticed because of all the food mobiles zipping around. Wow, maybe it's okay. It it's not like you were using them anyway. All you do is stand in the same place. I guess you're right. I was still kind of attached to them, both emotionally and physically. Well, I, I guess it could be worse. At least I still have my eyes. But even with your eyes, you couldn't see the detergent's lies. Th that's the other thing. It was technically called detergent, which is, again, pretty big red flag. What do I have to do to stop drinking this stuff? Like, don't worry about the vials of acid, that's fine. It's just gonna get the cat fey high as a kite, but like, maybe I just have to actively avoid them? Is that possible? I'm so used to just catching everything, like the shovels and the tomatoes and the potatoes and, uh, and all the other crazy stuff down here that I've never tried not to catch something. That being said, I'm the world's richest cat who's slowly turning into a metapod, so I might wanna figure it out soon. Hey, Cat Fay, how about from now on you guys get the soap and I get the experimental drugs? Is that too much to ask? I'm the one who's doing all the work around here, especially when it comes to tossing you into the ocean and gathering a bunch of jewels and gold and, I don't know, car dealerships accept some real weird things now. That, that's how you get all, all of the vehicles for your food. If this is your first time seeing fishing food, it, it really is just one big fever dream. Buckle up, it, it gets worse. Well, I think it's about time we burn through all of our happy little shovels. Like, I, I doubt I'm gonna be able to find a doctor or poison control or something like that, but maybe we can get a hat to cover our lumpy honeydew melon heads. No? There's always hats buried out here, what the hell? I gotta spend almost 1.2 million dollars on a couple extra feet of fishing line, so obviously I'm not gonna be able to afford socks or a hat or anything like that. That's why I gotta dig for it, no luck whatsoever. I think we may have gotten new food though. Maybe it's healthy food? No, okay, butter isn't the healthiest and it doesn't want to give us any advice, so it's fine. I've already got more than enough portals in space-time. What I could really use is some healthy advice from some healthy food. But no, once again, I, I think we got a dessert? It looked like some kind of chocolatey brick. Tir tiramisu! Oh, okay. I, I, I can't even imagine what you're gonna have to say to me. What kind of pun can you make around tiramisu? It's just now dawning on me that it has been a hot minute since I've had to talk to food in this game, and I, I don't think I'm ready for this conversation. Hi! Aha! You should play this game more. I'm pretty sure it would be better if people played less games. But when you're gone, I'll terra miss you. You just want people to watch more ads. <laughs> don't judge me! I'm starting to think that losing the ears may not have been the worst case scenario because now I shouldn't be able to hear these dumb puns anymore, right? 
I know the ocean has a pattern of giving us food that does want to talk, followed by food that doesn't want to talk, but I'm a little bit worried that there could be a pattern around the juice cleanses. Should I keep an eye out for them? I had a shovel and I had acid there, and we got cabbage, who isn't going to talk. Good. I can upgrade my capacity and go again. I'm just worried that we're gonna drink one more bottle of that stuff and lose our eyes. We were very, very thankful to keep our vision and that just seems like really bad foreshadowing. Every now and then the food moves out of the way and I get a clear look at my body and I, I, I look like somebody forgot a grape behind a refrigerator. It's the worst feeling in the world. I, I'm really afraid that we're gonna get even worse from here, but uh, not right now. We've got onion, red onion, even though you're kind of purple. Can I say that? Is that racist? It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. Is a red onion about to recite Nelly lyrics to me? Because if that's the case, then maybe dying is for the best. Must be that global warming. Does that mean I can take off all my layers now? I called it! <laughs> is, is food poisoning still on the menu by any chance? Because I'll take two. Please, no. After catching and painfully talking to hundreds of these food, I, I think that may have genuinely been the first one to not hit us with a pun. I, I mean, the, was that technically a pun? It was really an early 2000s music reference which still made me want to jump off the pier and drown myself, so I guess it serves the same purpose. I know I made a joke earlier about how, oh no, I didn't mean to catch that. I was gonna say, I know I made a joke earlier about how we're turning into a metapod, but we've seen in this game that, ooh, that's not good. We've seen in this game that food can evolve into cats, which was, Weird, and now I'm wondering if the juice cleanse is devolving us? Is that how things work? I'm not exactly a cat biologist or whatever you are. You, you kind of look more so like a, a Halloween candy, like a moldy peep. Do, do you have anything to say? Oh no, my hands! You look like a green peat peanut. That, that's what I was thinking of, thank you. <laughs> You're reading my mind. You're nuts if you keep drinking detergent. How are you gonna hold a fishing pole now? Don't tell anyone, but I'm actually telepathic. The fishing pole was always floating in front of my hands. Good thing you're still useful. Otherwise, we would have to throw you out. Wh who's we? You mean like you and I? Am I part of this? It's getting a little bit too meta for my own liking. You know what, I may be a deaf torso, but I'm still a filthy rich. <laughs> Nothing can change that. I swear to God, if I drink another one and it makes my wallet disappear, then, then I'm gonna be really mad. <laughs> okay, we got uh, another car for the onion. Oh, great. Go ahead, upgrade again. And again? All right. So we should get two new food now, which means one will talk and one will be quiet. I don't even know what these were. I think one of them kind of looked like desserts. What are you? Oh, ice cream rolls. Were there not two of you that we just caught? Wait, what's, who's, who's this guy? A taquito? Yeah, it's probably for the best that you can't talk. I started going to the gym. How's that working out for you? Pretty good. I'm on a roll. Sometimes it's the easiest ones that hurt the most. The smallest daggers in your back still <laughs> very painful. Soon we're gonna have the whole dock filled with new food and then we're gonna be able to move on to another island, but I really wanna see what happens with this cat and this island because it's been by far the most eventful one we've seen to date. Isn't that right? Or to choke. Oh, we got one that could talk and one that couldn't talk and now one that can talk. Oh my God, I swear to God. If this food tells me to choke him, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna uninstall the game. I promise you, I'm not looking to kink shame anybody. I'm just saying that I'm starting to look like a leafy green myself. I don't want you coming on to me. I miss my best friend. What happened to her? She already choked. I hope that was an already joke. Nope. 
Okay, so they used the tame version of what I was going for. <laughs> Reasonable. I don't know what it is, but just something about a leafy green saying, Artichoke me, daddy, is very unsettling. <laughs> Are we good for another level? There we go. I I'm not getting you guys any more cars. I, I, I need help. I need something like the candy corn. I'm looking for healthy food. I got like the least healthy thing imaginable. And it's barely food. In all reality, you're kind of just cardboard. Anybody whose favorite candy is candy corn on Halloween, you're a monster. I've got almost five million burger bucks in the bank and I gotta spend 3.78 of it, but that still means I have 1.2 million for the first food who gives me advice about how to turn back into a cat. <laughs> Consider it a bounty, please, strange sausage. Is that what you are? You kinda, oh, maybe pepperoni, salami, salami, there we go. Hey, salami. What is this salami pun gonna be? I always wanna figure them out before they say anything, but sometimes they're just too dumb for even me. I'm a salami. Oh, but you look like pepperoni. That's what I said. Don't say that. I'm more than a pizza meat. Ha uh, ha, that joke was a salam dunk. I, I completely skipped over the whole pizza meat piece of meat, it's like I said, sometimes they're so dumb, even I don't get them. I could probably check, but I get the feeling there's only a couple of food left for us to pull out. Like the dock is getting pretty blocked, which has me concerned with how this could end. Do you think we're gonna be able to save this cat? Is this island a lost cause? We got a cannoli. You're no help. Oh no, not more of this. I was about to make a joke about how we should have called it a can't only because it can't help me, but no, instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and guzzle down a, another one of these. What did we lose? Oh, um, yeah, that whole peanut theory's really playing out, isn't it? I'm a bean. Oh, my head feels weird. Yeah, it looks like there's a dent in it. Maybe your brain is caving in. I do feel like I'm losing my mind. Maybe the detergent is making you dumb. I mean, can it really make anything below zero? Is that a possibility? Or maybe you were always dumb. Yeah, it's more likely. Why do you keep drinking it? It said it was a juice cleanse. <laughs> They're supposed to be good for you. Oh, uh, they're really not. Great, great. So at what point do I figure out the fact that it's not good for me, considering I've lost my ears, arms, legs, neck? I don't have a whole lot left to lose, to be honest. I kind of just want to see where this is going to go. I'm almost afraid to ask what happens when somebody with telekinesis has a lumpy head. Like, literally, I, I make a lot of jokes about how I look lumpy, but now I have a, a dent, a concave in the top of my skull. So this could get a little dangerous. I mean, more dangerous than a floating cat fay. Oh, hello, Shuffle. Ooh, what are you? Is that, oh, it's ice cream. Ice cream isn't healthy. Where is all the healthy food? Honestly, uh, uh, the cabbage and stuff like that didn't want to talk to me. It's not fair. Okay, everybody hold up for just one second. Is this ice cream or is this a banana split? Because those are two very different pending puns. We need to be aware of this. I can't be here. What's wrong? You pulled me out of the ocean. I was in a very important meeting. I need to make like a banana and split. There it is. <laughs> I was right to question things. Okay, I know I could go dig and we're probably gonna find like uh, portals and, and multipliers and stuff like that. But if I dig far enough, if I watch enough ads, can I maybe just get a grave? Okay, I don't know how long this episode is gonna go on for, but we apparently only have nine more food left to this island, and I'm invested. I don't know about you guys, but I have to know how this ends, so we're just gonna go ahead, go even deeper, and pray that we can, oh, here we go, what are you? You look healthy, even though you're not gonna want to, to talk to me because we just had the banana split. So you look like a slice of melon or cantaloupe? Yeah, cantaloupe, that would have been perfect, and it would have made a great pun. No, I, I really wanted to marry this girl. I loved her so much, but she said she wasn't ready. We can't elope. 
I'm telling you guys, get me on the writing team of this game. I've got a million and one of these terrible puns or Nelly references. I'm sure I could come up with some of those too. What did we get? I'm so busy jiggling my rod using my mind. Oh, we got a date. Oh, that's gonna be a rough one. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm so excited. Why? Because I just got a date. I'm not that kind of date, though. Boo! Come on, Cat Fay owner, you're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> Help a guy out, you don't need to be feeding into these terrible food puns. Just sit there quietly and order cars? I never did quite figure out the link between those two things. <laughs> there we go, okay, come on now, what do you got for me? It's uh, oh, a fortune cookie, wait. If we talk to the date, then the fortune cookie doesn't want to talk to me? That's like the one food that actually, oh, it's a cashew. All right, never mind, I'm dumb. No, not another one. I swear I'm not trying. They're just at the bottom of the ocean and then they get caught and, oh my God, I'm a pear. I'm turning into a pear. Uh, something is coming out of my head. That doesn't seem healthy. Maybe you should see a doctor. Now is, is when we clue into that. Not the loss of ears, the loss of legs, the loss of arms, the loss of neck, the greenness, any of that. It's when I'm growing a stem that we're like, hmm, doctor. No, they would just tell me to stop drinking. I don't know if they would do that. I'm pretty sure a veterinarian would just put you down at this point. <laughs> and I can't do that. If anything, I should be drinking more. What? Has the juice cleanse gotten to my brain? I mean, it clearly has gotten to my brain. Let's be honest, I'm growing a stem out of it, but that doesn't add up. Where did this hazelnut come from? I, I didn't just pull you out of the ocean, did I? I was a little bit too concerned guzzling that bottle of, uh, of juice cleanse. We need to keep it very YouTube safe. I don't think the other food like me. Uh, what did you do to them? I might have hazed them. Just a little, though. You really shouldn't do that. This is a safe space. A, a safe gulag of food. <laughs> it's who I am, though. I'm a hazelnut. Who you are is a, uh, you are, what? Who you are is a bad person. Oh, I'm starting to think that the bleach is getting to my, my real brain. <laughs> oh, this is only gonna get more and more rough as time goes on. So these recent pear developments could definitely cause some problems. Uh, I'm pretty sure food in this world doesn't have rights, as you can tell by my atrocities against their people. <laughs> Which means they might not be allowed to own money. So am I gonna still be rich? I don't know, maybe we can ask the bowl of noodles? Is that what you are? How does a bowl stay full of noodles underwater? I really shouldn't ask things about the ocean. We're far beyond that by now. Oh, shredded cheese in a bowl. All right. Yeah, bro, I work out. Don't bro me and do not say that you're shredded cheese. Don't tell me what to do. I'm freaking sh shredded, bro. Do you even lift? I, I just, I, I wanna, can we throw him into the grave that I dug? If it doesn't fit me, it can fit a bowl of dumb cheese. I think my biggest concern right now is that if I do become a pear, will I just fall in the ocean and get caught by the next island? Is that a possibility? I try my best to treat them well. I buy them cars. I defend them from the cat air force that keeps flying by. That's, that's enough, right? Oh, what are you? I was gonna say date, but uh, we already have a date, so some other strange nut, maybe? Oh, a coffee bean. All right, we've had cups of coffee before, so how does that work? Do you do you get ground up and, uh, I'm not gonna ask, shouldn't be asking, just gonna keep going, keep pulling up foods? It's the same thing, like we, we've seen cheese. So does a, a cheese in the ocean get attacked by a grater? Or loved by a grater? And then they have shredded cheese. Ooh, that, that's some weird coitus. Not again, come on, I'm questioning how cheese reproduces. 
<laughs> I'm not ready for my full-blown transformation. I think that's it. I think we're full-blown. Yeah. Oh, no. My life is ruined. I would give anything to be a cat again. Look at what I've become. I'm in despair. Yep. Yep. That will be the full transformation. It's definitely set in. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, Chili Bowl, now is not a good time, to be perfectly honest. I'm kind of having a midlife crisis, which for a cat is, what, seven, eight years? I hope global warming kicks in soon. Why? Because it's too chilly in here. And away he goes. Wait, what? Wow, you upgraded everything on this island. See, that's what I used to look like before the whole pear thing. But if that's the case, then you're amazing. Uh, oh, oh, thanks. Uh, now you can restart this island to get gold hats. What do they do? Oh, they look cool and, and make your food more valuable. Ready to reset this island? No, I, I would kind of like to reset you, which doesn't seem to be an option. So we're screwed. We're just gonna live life as a pair, I suppose. Yeah, we got a new island. Okay, we can go there, but then what if I... You see, the old one still has a picture of the cat. But when I go there, there is no cat. Okay, so... <laughs> he's just up shit creek. Oh well. Alright, you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Fishing Food, guys. It turns out the hat really doesn't help nearly as much as I had hoped it would. <laughs> We're screwed up in way too many ways. But if you guys want to see more Fishing Food, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return for an all-new cat and an all-new terrifying, pun-filled path to go down with it. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.